In this video, we will do some pH calculations to determine the acidity and basicity. That means we have to quantify the acidity and basicity using pH calculation. What is pH means? P stands for the power and H stands for the concentration of hydrogen ion. So that means the power of hydrogen ion concentration. In order to do the pH calculation, we should have some basic formula. And to start with, let us see, revisit the auto ionization of water. We can write the expression, the equilibrium expression for the auto ionization of water by putting K equal concentration of H3O plus times concentration of hydroxide ion concentration. So we don't have anything in the denominator because these are liquid water. In the reactant side, both are liquid water. One of them is acting as base and the other molecule is acting as acid. So we know that water is amphoteric. It can act as acid as well as base. Since the equilibrium constant is for water, we will just represent that K as KW. So that W stands for water. So we can write either in terms of hydronium ion or in terms of hydrogen ion. So both are same. So it is temperature dependent. So we have to specify at what temperature we are talking about that equilibrium constant. So at 25 degrees Celsius, Kw is a constant which equal 10 to the power negative 40. The reason for that one is the concentration of hydrogen ion and the concentration of hydroxide ion both will equal 10 to the power negative 7 molar. The molarity of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion equal 10 to the power negative 7. That's the reason Kw is 10 to the power negative 14. So we should know that Kw is 10 to the power negative 14. So that is the first thing I'm telling you to know in order to do the calculations. And now let us see the formula to calculate pH. So pH equal negative log hydrogen ion concentration. That is the formula we should know to calculate the pH. So let us see an example. In the previous, pre previous auto ionization of water, we have seen that hydrogen ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the power negative 7. Or I can just write 10 to the power negative 7. And then I am going to substitute in the pH formula. pH equal negative log hydrogen ion concentration. Either you can write 1 times 10 to the power negative 7 or you can just write negative log 10 to the power negative 7. So you can plug in the calculator and we can see that that's going to be 7. If the molarity is given as 1 times 10 to the power any number, let us take the same example, 10 to the power negative 7. And if you are writing that negative log, there is a shortcut we can use in this case, only if it is 1 times some number. If it is 1 times 10 to the power negative 7, we can write negative, negative 7 log base 10. So log 10 is 1. And so negative of negative 7 will be 7. 7 times 1 will be 7. Or this shortcut you can use only if it is 1 times some number. Suppose if it is negative log of 1 times 10 to the power negative 3. We can write negative, negative 3 log 10 that equal 3. Okay, so that is only if it is one time. If it is not, say for example, negative log of 2 point something, 10 to the power negative 7. In such cases, when you plug it in the calculator or if it is a multiple choice with the numbers which is not very close to each other, you can see that when you plug this number in the calculator, log of that number will be in between 6 and 7. And if it is negative log of 3 times, I'm just taking some examples, 3, your number should be in between 2 and 3. So these are some shortcuts that you can use depends on the situation. And now when you decide how many significant digits should be in the answer after calculating the pH. So that depends on how many significant figures are in the given concentration okay how many significant digits 
only for the pH calculation, we will look for the decimal places after that. That should match with the significant digit in the concentration number given in the question. So if it is 4.42 in the pH, that means we have two places after the decimal. So that means in the question, the concentration should have two sig fig. So that means I can say if the significant figure given is 1.0 molar, and then you should have an answer with the two decimal places. So the number of decimal places in the log value should equal the number of significant digits in the original number, that is the concentration. And now the third formula we should know is pH plus pOH equal 14. So this is a very useful formula. For example, if you have the pH value given, pH is known and they are asking for pOH. You don't have to do much calculation to find that one. You just have to subtract pOH equal 14 minus the given pH value or just calculate the pH value and subtract it from 14, you will get the pOH value and vice versa. Suppose if you have pOH value known and if you want to calculate the pH, you just subtract 14 minus pOH. So that is going to be very useful. And now, suppose if you have the pH value and they are asking to find the hydrogen ion concentration. You can use the formula hydrogen ion concentration equal 10 to the power negative pH. That is our fourth one. This was the third one, right? Okay, so then if you know the pOH, if the pOH is given and we have to find the hydroxide ion concentration, we can use the fifth formula here. That is hydroxide ion concentration equal 10 to the power negative pOH. So to summarize, let us start with the pH. That is pH equal negative log hydrogen ion concentration. And pOH, in the same way we can write negative log hydroxide ion concentration. And if we have pH and we want to calculate hydrogen ion concentration, we can write 10 to the power negative pH. And if we have pOH and we want to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration, 10 to the power negative pOH. And we also know that pH plus pOH equal 14 and we also know KW equal 10 to the power negative 14. In same way, another P value is for K, we can write the PKA equal negative log KA. That means if the PKA value is smaller or lower, it is more stronger acid. And same way we know the pH, right? The pH number is low means that's a strong acid. And what if the pH number, we know the pH scale 1 through 7 through 14. 1, 2, 3, 4 through 14, right? If it is 1 or 0, we know that that's a strong acid. And if it is closer to 7, just below 7, we can say that's a weak acid. And if it is just above 7, we know that's a weak base. And if it is closer to 14, we know that's a strong base. So 7 is neutral. All right. And also we know if the pH is, uh, for comparing the acidity with the ions, that is if the hydrogen ion is greater than hydroxide ion concentration, we know that is acidic solution. And if the hydroxide ion concentration is greater than hydrogen ion concentration, we know that is basic solution. And what if both are equal? That means if both hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion are equal, the concentration are equal, we say that is a neutral solution.
This is a summary we should know about the acidity and basicity calculation. So we can organize our pH calculation as pH of strong acid, strong base, pH of weak acid, weak base, and pH of salts. After that, we will see for the weak base and weak acid, we know that it will not ionize 100%, right? Partial ionization. So what we will do, we will find out how can we calculate the percentage ionization for weak acid and weak base. But in this video, I'm going to concentrate only on strong acid, strong base, and weak acid, weak base, pH calculation, and percent dissociation. So first we will do for the pH calculation of strong acid and strong bases. So which are the strong acids? How, how do you know? HCl, HBr, HI, HNO3, H2SO4, and HCl. Offer. If you cannot find an acid in this list, you can identify that one as weak acid. But if you can see HCl, HBr, HI, HNO3, H2SO4, and HClO4, if you see an acid in this list, that means that is going to be the strong acid. Otherwise, it is weak acid. And how will you know the strong base? Look at the first group and second group elements here. Lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium, and calcium, strontium, barium, radium, hydroxide. If it is forming a hydroxide, these metals, the one which I just showed you as B, and that with the OH, that is when it forms hydroxide, they are strong bases. Okay. If it is not in this group, you can say that is a weak base. The first question here calculate the pH of pH and pOH for each of the following solutions at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we have hydroxide ion concentration given, so we have to find pH and pOH. Since it's given hydroxide ion concentration, first I have to do what pOH, right? So for A, I can say that pOH equal negative log. Hydroxide ion concentration, which is 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 3. So that will equal, as since it is 1 time 10 to the power negative 3, I can directly write what? It is 3. Correct? That means that will equal negative 3. Right? And then we have negative of log. So negative of negative will be plus log 10. So log 10 is 1, so that is 3. So then I can calculate pH because I know pH plus pOH equal 14. So pH equal 14 minus pOH, which is 14 minus 3, that equal 11. And now the second question, 1 molar hydrogen ion. So how can I calculate pH equal negative log hydrogen ion concentration. So that means negative log 1. That means log 1 equal 0. So we have to calculate POH now. So POH is 14 minus pH. That will be 14 minus 0. That equal 14. Okay. So the next question here is the pH of a sample of human blood was measured to be 7.41. So we have the pH here. So pH equal 7.41. Calculate the pOH. So for calculating the pOH, what we have to do? 14 minus, right? So pOH equal 14 minus 7.41. So that equal 6.59. And now we have to calculate hydrogen ion concentration. So to calculate hydrogen ion concentration, I know 10 to the power negative pH. So that means 10 to the power negative 7.41 
If you plug it in the calculator, you can see that is 3.9 times 10 to the power negative 8 molar. Okay. And now we have to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration that equal 10 to the power negative pOH. And I have the pOH value as 6.59. When you plug it in the calculator, you can see it is 2.6 times 10 to the power negative 7 molar. And now let us see this question. Calculate the pH of 0 0.1 molar HNO3. This is a little different from the way it is asked compared to the question, the previous question. So in this case, we don't have the hydrogen ion concentration given directly, but we know HNO3 is a strong acid, so it will ionize completely, that 100% ionization. So whatever the concentration of HNO3 is going to be the concentration of hydrogen ion. So that equals 0 0.10 molar. So now we can plug it in the formula pH equal negative log hydrogen ion concentration. So that equal negative log 0 0.10. That equal I can rewrite that one to make it a little more easy for me to calculate 1 times 10 to the power negative 1. So since it is in the form of 1 times 10 to the power negative 1, I know that's going to be 1 log 10. Log 10 is 1. So the answer is going to be how many sig fig I have? 2 sig fig in this question. So I need two decimal places in my answer. Next question is calculate the pH of a 5.0 times 10 to the power negative 2 molar NaOH. NaOH is a strong base. And again, I don't have the concentration of the hydroxide ion given directly, but I know the concentration of the base will give me the concentration of the hydroxide ion because it's a strong base, it will ionize completely. So 5.0 times 10 to the power negative 2 molar is going to be the hydroxide ion concentration. Then I can find the pOH which equal negative log hydroxide ion concentration which I can substitute now negative log 5.0 times 10 to the power negative 2. So that will equal, since it is not in the form 1 times 10 to the power negative 2, it is 5 times. So it will be, the answer will be in between 1 and 2. So when you plug it in the calculator, you can see it's going to be 1.30. Okay, that is just the pOH. But our task is to find the pH. So what is pH? So I can calculate pH because I know pH plus pOH equal 14. So I can calculate the pH by subtracting 1.3 from 14. So 14 minus 1.3 that will equal 1.30 to be accurate that equal 12.70. Two decimal places, two sig fig, it is matching. So that's going to be our answer. And now the second type of pH calculation, that is the calculation of pH for weak acid and weak base. So let's start with the weak acid. So the question is asking here, calculate the pH of a 0 0.10 molar solution of acetic acid. The Ka of acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5. So let us see how to approach this question. So we have the Ka value given and also we have the initial concentration of the acid. So we don't have hydrogen ion concentration or hydroxide ion concentration given. So what we will do, we will start with the rice table by writing the equation first, that is the reaction is going to be acetic acid, that is CH3COOH. Since it is weak acid, I will put reversible arrow and I will have the hydrogen ion and acetate ion. Okay, so that's our reaction. So the initial concentration of acetic acid is given, which is 0 0.10 molar. Initial concentration of these two are zero. The change will be negative x plus x plus x. And at equilibrium, it's going to be 0 0.10 minus x, x, and x. And now we can write the Ka expression. So from the Ka expression, I can find the x value, correct? So that equals, so x times x here, so that will be x squared divided by 0 0.10 minus x. Now, this is what you have to remember. 
the x value is going to be very very small okay so because it's a weak acid so we don't have that much hydrogen ion produced here or acetate ion produced here very little ionization so x is going to be very small and it is not going to affect that much if we are ignoring that x from our calculation so that means this is approximately equals x square divided by 0 0.10 so what we will say is neglect x because it's very small That will make our calculation easier instead of going for the quadratic equation and also it's not going to affect the cal uh, calculation that much okay the value of the answer the value will not change that much okay now what we will do is we will substitute the value of k which is 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 that equal x square divided by 0.10 then we will isolate x square by multiplying on both sides by 0 0.10. So we can cancel this one and we will get x square equal 0 0.10 times 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5. Then I am going to change, you can plug it in the calculator directly, but I am going to change this one into exponential form times 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 that will equal 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 6 and now I want to find the x so I will just take the square root 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 6 that will equal 0 0.00134 that's the x value x value is our h plus ion concentration so we can see that x here and x is equal concentration of hydrogen ion so that's what i'm going to use to calculate my ph value now so ph is negative log hydrogen ion concentration so then that equal negative log the concentration i calculated is 0 0.00134 correct and that is equal we will get when you plug it in the calculator you can see that that's going to be 2.87 so two decimal places here and i have two sig fig in the question all right so that's how we will calculate for weak acid let's see another example the hypochlorite ion OCl- is a strong oxidizing agent often found in household bleaches and disinfectants. It is also the active ingredient that forms when swimming pool water is treated with the chlorine. In addition to its oxidizing abilities, the hypochlorite ion has a relatively high affinity for protons. It is a much stronger base than Cl- and forms the weakly acidic hypochlorous acid. The K value is given and uh, calculate the pH of a 0 0.100 molar aqueous solution of hypochlorous acid. So we know it is not in our list of strong acids. So we know that's a weak acid. So we have to form the rice table first and then we can calculate the pH. That is the step we had to follow for weak acid. So first the reaction. So hypo HOCl reversible arrow H plus plus OCl minus and then initial concentration is 0 0.100 0 molar 0 and 0 and change is going to be negative x x and x and at equilibrium we will have 0 0.1 minus x x and x and now as usual write the Ka Ka will be x square divided by 0.1 0, 0 minus x that is approximately equal x squared divided by 0 0.1 because x is going to be very small. So then Ka value is given as 3.5 times 10 to the power negative 8 that equal x squared divided by 0 0.1. And now we can say that that equals when you substitute in the Calculator, you can see that x square equal 3.5 
times 10 to the power negative 9. And then we can do this way x equal square root of 3.5 times 10 to the power negative 9 that equal 5.92 times 10 to the power negative 5. And then that x is our hydrogen ion concentration. And then pH equal negative log hydrogen ion concentration that equal negative log 5.92 times 10 to the power negative 5. So our answer should be in between 4 and 5. So when you, when you plug it in the calculator, you can see it is going to be 4.23. How many sig fig we need? How many sig figs are in the 3 sig fig, right? So we should have 0 here. 3 sig figs or 3 decimal places. Okay, so now I can give you a shortcut now. So we have seen in two calculations, we have seen while writing the Ka value, we are ignoring that x. In both cases, we are ending up with the x square on the top. And at the bottom, we are just writing the concentration of the weak acid given. So this can be a shortcut instead of writing the rice table. Okay, but writing the rice table is the right way of calculating that. But this may be a shortcut or maybe an easier way for you to figure out the x value where x is going to be our hydrogen ion concentration and that is the value you have to use to calculate the pH. So two steps you can use. The first step, use the Ka value given to find the x and that x is our hydrogen ion concentration and then second step is our calculation of pH as we calculated before. Let us see another calculation here. Calculate the pH of a solution that contains 1.00 molar HCN with the Ka value 6.2 times 10 to the power negative 10 and 5.00 molar HNO2 with the Ka value 4.0 times 10 to the power negative 4. So here we have a mixture of two weak acids. So in such cases what you have to do is we are just taking into consideration the acid with the higher Ka value. So that means only the acid with the largest Ka value will contribute an appreciable amount of hydrogen ion in a mixture. So then we will determine the pH based on that acid only. Okay, so we can see that Ka for HNO2 is the larger number here compared to the Ka for HCA. So we don't want this one. We will just take care of with this one. Okay. So that's what we had to do. So I'm going with the short method. I told you just before. So Ka equal x square divided by concentration of the acid. So Ka is 4.0 times 10 to the power negative 4 x square divided by concentration of the acid is 5 molar that means 5.00 molar. So then simplify, I can isolate x square by multiplying on both sides by 5.00. That means x square will equal 20 times 10 to the power negative 4 to find the x value square root of 20 times 10 to the power negative 4. When you plug it in the calculator, we will get it as 4.5 times 10 to the power negative 2, which is our hydrogen ion concentration. First step is over. And now the second step is pH equal negative log hydrogen ion concentration. So that equal negative log hydrogen ion concentration. I got it as 4.5 times 10 to the power negative 2. So when you plug it in the calculator, we can see 1.35. How many sig fig I need? 5.00. That means I need 3 sig fig. So I have 1 0. I will put that 1.350 pH because 3 decimal places I need. Right? Okay. 
have another question. Calculate the hydroxide ion concentration and the pH for a 15 molar, 15.0 molar ammonia solution. The Kb for ammonia is 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5. So here we know that ammonia is a base. So for ammonia, for a base, what we have to do is instead of Ka, we have to write Kb. And the rest is same, x square divided by concentration of the base not the acid okay so i am just writing hb as a general formula for a base and now what is kb given 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 that equal x square divided by what is the concentration of the base given is 15.0 molar right and now i can find the x square how can i find the x square is Isolate that x square by multiplying by 15 on both sides. So 15 times 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5. That will equal, I will get 1.6 after taking the square root, I will get 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 2. So that is nothing but, in this case, x is nothing but hydroxide ion concentration because that's a base okay and then i can calculate the poh so we have how many steps the first step is finding the kb second step is finding the poh so first they asked us to calculate hydroxide ion concentration which i got hydroxide ion concentration so poh is negative log hydroxide ion concentration so negative log hydroxide ion concentration calculated was 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 2. So it should be in between 1 and 2 because the power is negative 2. So when you plug it in the calculator, we can see 1.78. Right? And now the third step is to calculate the pH. So once you have the pOH, I can simply subtract it from 14. So that will equal 12. 0.22. All right. Now another question. Calculate the pH of a 1.0 molar solution of methylamine and the Kb value is given. So using our easy method or the short method, Kb equal x square. So I don't have to know how to write the equation in this case. But it's not the, again, it is not the right way. We have to write the rice table, write the equation and everything. That is the real calculation method. The shortest method I'm using here again, Kb equal x square divided by concentration of methylamine is not an acid and the Kb value is given. So I will just use Hb and uh, x is going to be, since it is a base, that will give us hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, and then we will find the POH and then we will find the pH. So how many steps? 1, 2 and 3 steps. Alright. You can calculate this one first and then check your answer. Okay. So what happened here is Kb equal x square divided by 1.0. So Kb value is given 4.38 times 10 to the power negative 4. So that equal x square divided by 1. So x equal square root of 4.38 times 10 to the power negative 4. That equals, I am getting the x value as 4. Point, I mean 0. 0.021. That's our hydroxide ion concentration. And now the second step, I will calculate the pOH, which is negative log hydroxide ion concentration, which equal negative log 0. 0.021. When you plug in the calculator, you can see that as hydroxide ion concentration. I'm getting as 2.0. Now it's going to be 
1.68. So let me write that 1.68. So then the third step is finding the pH by subtracting it from 14. So I will get it as 12.32. And now we will see the percent ionization of a weak acid. So we can use the formula percent ionization or percent dissociation that equal concentration of hydrogen ion divided by concentration of the acid times 100. One side note, for a weak acid, the percent dissociation or ionization increases as the acid becomes more dilute. So that means dissociation increases means you will have more product. That means equilibrium will shift to the right. See an example here. Calculate the percent dissociation of acetic acid. K value is given as 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 in each of the following solutions. So I will do the first one and you try the second one and check your answer. Okay. So the first one, how can we do is first we will write the K equal x square divided by concentration of the acid. Why are we doing the Ka is? Uh, because they have given the Ka value and to find the percent dissociation, we know the formula percent dissociation equal concentration of hydrogen ion divided by concentration of the acid times 100. We do not have hydrogen ion directly given, but we know that from the Ka value given, I can find the hydrogen ion and then I will substitute. So this is a two-step problem. So what is Ka given is 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5. And then I will find x square. Since it is Ka, x is nothing but hydrogen ion concentration. And the acid concentration is 1 molar. So I will write that one. And then I can find the square root of 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 that is going to be my hydrogen ion concentration how much is that going to be is x is nothing but 0 0.0042 and then i will substitute here that is 0 0.0042 divided by 1 times 100 that will equal 0 0.42 percentage and now try the b section i mean second question b and then you can check your answer so b will be k a x square divided by concentration of acid that equal k a is 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 that equal x square divided by 0 0.1 and then I can find x by taking the square root and you can isolate x square by multiplying on both sides by 0.1. So 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 6 that equals 0 0.00134 that is our hydrogen ion concentration. And in the second step pH equal oh sorry uh, percentage dissociation equal Concentration of hydrogen ion, which is 0 0.00134 divided by 0 0.1 times 100, that equals, I will get 1.3 percentage.